So this is an, a gadget here for you, the Microsoft Connect. Originally, it was for the Xbox 360. It's a full-body, horizontally-oriented 3D scanner. People are doing all sorts of crazy stuff with this. Um, you can download the SDK and drivers there. It connects through USB to your computer. Um, there's an article on how to interface with this through Delphi and some drivers available there. You can download those and check it out and start connecting to the Connect. So here's a real quick demo of the Connect for Windows, which is different than the original Connect for 360, the Xbox 360. Simon Stewart made some headers for the Xbox 360 version. This, from what I can tell, they don't work with the new version. So this is the Connect for Windows demo. So the first thing you need is the Connect for Windows SDK drivers. And you just come here to Connect for Windows Dev, scroll down, and the Connect for Windows SDK, download this right here. And, and that's what I'm using right now is actually this version. Once you have that installed, then in Device Manager, you'll see your Connect for Windows showing up here. There's multiple devices involved in this section. There's more than we're seeing there. There's a motor that moves it around, camera, audio control, etc. Then we're using these uh, Connect SDK headers from De Delphi Headers. You can download these here. They're LGPL licensed. And it actually comes with this SDK test. Now, I've made a couple slight modifications to the test just to make it easier to demo. All I'm doing is the ability to turn things on and off. I'm going to walk through the some of the details of this right now. The Right here, this is where we're opening the sensor that is being used to uh, to connect to it. And we're setting up two different things we're looking for. We're giving a depth event and a skeleton event. And so it's going to do is going to retrieve depth information and skeletal tracking information. So skeletal tracking information is where it recognizes a person and the different elements of that person. Um, and then also in the depth, it actually recognizes the player, which is a person in the field that it's scanning. There is a thread that runs here to event dispatcher thread that runs in order to pass the information back. And this is all handled through Windows messages right here. This is the uh, event dispatcher that receives the messages and it looks to see if it's a skeletal event or a depth event. And then depending on, let's see, where's it at? Here's the new depth frame. So right here's the change I added is right here I have a checkbox that turns off whether or not it displays the player. So the player is going to be displayed in blue when it's detected, and then the ability to turn off the depth scanning. So this is just whether it's going to color things based on depth information. And then also, in the skeletal tracking, I added a checkbox here to, let's see, where's it at? Right here. If this is unchecked, then it won't mark where my hands are. So let's go ahead and run this and show you what it looks like. So right now it's doing nothing because everything's unchecked. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on depth tracking. And so now it's rendering here in depth. And so the darker something is, the closer it is to the camera. Now obviously this stuff up here is actually too far away, and so that's why it's black. So black is too close or too far away. Now my microphone's right here in front of me I'm talking into. And you can see my hand, this hand's behind it because it's lighter colored. And it moves further away, it gets lighter. And this hand's in front of it because it's darker colored. Okay, and it's actually interesting. You can see the folds in my shirt here. I'm not sure if that's going to show up in the video or not, but you can see the, the folds in the fabric. Okay, so that's showing the depth of the uh, field. So back there's the back wall, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on player tracking. So now it's highlighting me in blue. Now you notice it's got a microphone in blue as well. And that's because my microphone in this part of my desk is in the same area as I am. And so it's having a hard time differentiating whether or not this is part of me or not. So I'm going to turn on hand tracking. Let's see how this works um, because i got some stuff cluttering around here. Okay, so there we go. It's saying this is my left hand with the red dot and this is my right hand with the green dot. So it's able to differentiate that. Oh, it lost the left hand based on uh, information here, even despite my microphone being in the way. So... Pretty interesting. You can do uh, a lot other things with Connect. It can actually pull a uh, actual video to get actual photograph data out of this. It uses infrared camera. So this is the depth view we're looking at right now. You can look at a photographic view as well. Uh, it's got a microphone in it. 
and some other uh, abilities as well. So you can use this to do uh, background replacements, uh, 3D scanning. I've seen them use it to take 3D scans of people to do 3D printing and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, this is the Connect working with Delphi XE5.